Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And there's been a lot of changes recently, guys, to Fishing Planet that apparently there is a new couple of lakes, or at least one, if as far as I understand. This one called Blue Crab Island was just recently added. Now, you have to be like level 54 to get to it. Now, I've really wanted to be able to go here and check it out. But, gotta wait guys, unfortunately. Don't have the level for that. Still don't have the level for Weeping Willow Fisheries. Or Octuba River, I think that's what it's called. I did briefly visit there when they gave out free licenses, but... Managed to catch a very large sturgeon. Biggest thing I've caught in this game so far. It was a beluga sturgeon. But... Unfortunately, we gotta wait. But I've been thinking about going to San Joaquin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Here in California, the San Joaquin Delta. I have not been here in a long time. Actually, probably a couple of years. So, honestly, I don't know if things have changed there. I'm sure they have. Uh, they've added a uh, sturgeon to it since I was last there. So, there has been quite a few changes I'm sure but it is a little bit more pricey because I'm gonna have to pay for a license so anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and go in there and check it out all right we are here and like I said I have not been here in a long long time but I do have a boat this time that's something I didn't have before and that gives us a lot to check out and also guys I my understanding is there's a lot of money to be had here so the big gist of this is that we've got to focus on the pricey fish the ones that are gonna bring back a lot of payback and that would be like these Chinook salmon probably the larger common carp Largemouth bass are only common size here, but the red ear sunfish come in uniques. The steelheads is another big money bringer, and the striped bass. And of course, the white sturgeon. So we're going to check these things out. Now, like the white sturgeon, they, they look like they only go for live bait. Now, we did manage to bring plenty of that. These guys will go for just about anything, which is good. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to go ahead and check it out from shore at the start. Because, honestly, like I said, it's been a long time since I've been here and I don't want to mess this up. So we're going to go ahead and get a private rim here. There's the boat docks. Now, I remember one place that was really good for getting the salmon and the striped bass. And I was over here below the Crichton Dam. So I think that's what we're going to do is try that first. Anyway, yeah, I have not been here in a long time, but this is a great place to fish, guys. And we're going to go ahead and switch over to lures at the moment. Let's see. I think I have one set up. Yes, I do, with nymphs. Now, supposedly these guys go for that. So we're going to find out just if they do, if that's the case. I know they go for crawls. Yeah, there's a lot more movement to the water than there was when I was last here. It actually looks like a dam. See, we live near uh, a large dam structure where I live here. We live near the falls of the Ohio. So this looks very familiar. But when I used to catch them before, there was a couple of good spots that I used to get them in used to get them over in this area near these rocks uh, used to get them around this rock towards those rocks this way and if you came way over here as you can get all the way out to here right out there you get the striped bass now I don't know if that's still going to be the case guys there is a spastic bird out there. 
Um, we're gonna just give it a try. We're gonna tr try a few things. Do what I normally do. I mean, this is how you fish, guys. You're like, okay, let's give this a try. It's how I fish. It's how I think most people fish. But we're gonna try the nymph. And I think this is a Texas setup, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of activity over there. Wow, right off the bat, guys. Right off the bat. Now we need to put a little more tension to it. Now I wasn't sure what I was in for there. Damn. This is a good fish. What we got here? Steelhead. Very nice. Let's get a good look at him. Steelhead trout. Now I don't know if you know this, but the steelhead trout are rainbow trout that make it out to the ocean. They get the coloration from being able to make the passage. But they're in the same family. I think they're just a subspecies. They definitely went for that nymph. I'm pretty sure that's where they were before, too. Ah! Yeah, the crankbaits are really good here, too. But I think there's probably going to be a lot of different things that's going to do very well here. There we go. See? See what I mean? Ooh, this guy's big. This guy's really big. Come on. He is going to give me a fight. And I am more than happy to oblige him. Get in there, you. guy does not want to be caught. Okay, we got him though. I think, well, no, he's making another run. Here, let's go follow him. Come here, fishy, fishy. Come on. You want to get in here? You want, I want to see what you look like. Come here. Come on, man. You are one little wily guy, I'll tell you that. Jeez. What the heck are you? You have managed to go all over the place there, little man. There we go. Chinook salmon, no wonder. Wow. Nice fish. That's what I'm talking about. 773. See, that's what we're talking about, guys. The cash is big. It is big. And that is just common size. So let's see what we've got here in our inventory. I have got... This happens to be... What have I got? A Texas rig. So the, uh, the Texas rig with the I think some one of my viewers suggested this the Texas rig with the nymph three inch nymph and this is 12 pound test 
I'm catching some big fish off 12 pound test there guys now this one is a hornet swarm it's gonna be a little bit heavier 20 pound test I've got a Carolina rig on that with a six seven ounce bullet sinker and a newt so that might be worth a try as well guys and here we've got this crayfish on a thorough nine foot by six inch let's see what is the so I don't know if that line's gonna work it is a braided line so trout have good eyes so I'm not so sure if we might not have to switch to some mon you know like monofilament or floral line to have any luck so let's see here guys let's try this newt let's see if that now this is on a Carolina rig so see how well that one does here Wow right off the bat what do we got here oh man seriously awesome another Chinook Well, the newts obviously do very well. <laughs> the Chinook salmon are really biting, but I think we are at a peak right now. At least we're heading into it. Yeah, he was almost right there to shore. Let's see here. What have I got on the other one? Let's see. Crawfish. I don't know if I'm going to try the crawfish. I think I am going to switch this off. I haven't been getting as much with that. Might try a crankbait or... I'll tell you what. If you're not sure, go to the fish species. Now, what have we been getting? Steelheads, so they go for crankbaits, shads, nymphs, medium spoons, bullet spinners. And the Chinook. Bullet spinners, spoons, crankbaits, shads, nymphs. So pretty much the same kind of thing. Now, I w you know, it's not a bad thing to catch a bass, but we need to get as much money as possible to make this worth our trip here. Now, one thing I may need to do is look at the map here. Now, if there are white sturgeon in this place, and there are, they're going to probably be in the deep area. There's quite a few of them, but I don't... I'm leaning towards these areas where there's like water flow and maybe here but this deep deep area here probably would be a good place to try but we're not going to go for them to this time we got to go out on a boat to get to that so I think I might get a crankbait on here though Let's see, let's try a blue. So what do we need here? 5 8 ounce. 5 7 Let's try this one. That one's optimal. Good old blue crank. Let's see if this does any good. Now we gotta take the speed down. If I remember correctly, it was the crankbaits I caught some of the biggest fish. That may be too deep, though. No, nope, not necessarily. <laughs> there we go. Boy, he went for that, I mean, like, right off the bat. Yeah, 
crankbaits are very popular. Bring an assortment if you can. Let's see what we got here. Probably another Chinook. Yep, 777. That thing weighs 17 pounds. That's a big old fish, guys. Big old fish. And they come in uniques. I can't even imagine how big that the uniques come. I still think there might be something over here. Wish I knew how deep the water was. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. No time at all are we going to get the money back. Nice steelhead. That's a big one, guys. That's a big steelhead. 7-Eleven. Check him out. And I've only really been focusing on this area here. I haven't even gone to this side. <laughs> Just this area here. Yeah, it's still good. In fact, I think it might even be better than it was when I was last here. I think I might do this as a shad. The Texas rig did very well, so I think I'm going to set up another Texas rig here. This is a three-way rig. Apparently, once you use them, they're no good. But we should have plenty of them. I am going to put... Let's go to put a Texas rig on here. And we're going to put a kind of offset hook here, guys. Let's try a three. According to them, the shads are really good. Nymphs did very well too. But let's try a shed. This white shed. We gotta get a decent set of, set of sinkers on here, otherwise, it's not gonna be heavy enough. Let's try the 5 8, see if that's enough. That's optimal. And we may have to change the line. I'm not sure yet. We're going to try this with the braided first. God, there's a lot of activity over there. And there we go. Another steelhead. He went for the shad. That was only a two inch shad. Yeah, this is the salmon and trout spot for me. I've always caught a lot of them here in the past. Looks like it's still just as good as it ever was. Got lots of options that you can try. I think we're going to stay here as long as we can. 
And for some reason, I never caught a whole lot going this way in the past. But I, I might give it a chance anyway, just to see. Let's try the crankbait again. Maybe this time a different one. Let's see. Here's a six foot crankbait. I don't know if that's going to be too... I don't know if they went for these deep runners or not. Now, those are way too deep anyway. Well, we'll try it. Worst can happen is they don't bite, you know? <laughs> Not biting as much as they were earlier. We are on the down slide here of the peak. I wouldn't mind giving some of these a try. I remember I used to catch some big ass fish out this was it this way? I think it was this way. I'm gonna have to check my old videos because I don't honestly remember wow right off the bat I knew it was a crankbait was the choice but didn't know it happened that fast a big fish. He is running with it. Yeah, I think in the next episode, guys, we're going to come back here and we're going to fish this side this time. Obviously, they're biting this way, so I want to see what this guy is. He's making headway again. not making this easy for me. Jeez, look at that. He's taking it out again. This is no Mickey Mouse rod, guys. This is a decent rod. This is 20-pound test. And he is just running with it, and I cannot get it any higher than that. He's going to probably bolt one more time. I think it's a striper, guys. I can't tell, but we're about to find out. Nope, another Chinook. Just a really good fighter. Man, these guys are something, aren't they? I like 
He likes, let's get a good picture of him. He isn't the biggest one I've gotten, but he's a good fish. Yeah, I was hoping he'd, you'd hold it in your palms, but anyway, there you go. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look at this that I've taken in a long time. Fishing is still good over here. Spots still work just as well as they ever worked. Awesome to know. Crankbaits kill. So do the Texas rigs and the Carolina rigs. Didn't have as much luck with the three-way, but that may be something... We might have more luck with with the catfish and things like that on the other side of the lake. Don't know. We're just going to have to try it. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.